WTFNN. Headline News Update. And it's the update at 2 p.m. with David White here at TFNN. What do we have today? Well, flat as a pancake, that 1976 uh, album from Head East. Uh, always one of my favorites, but uh, literally, uh, I think a quarter, not a quarter of a percent, a literal tw- uh, 25 cents off on the spies right now as we uh, start this update. Uh of course, we had, uh, they really were pushing pre market uh, for this as we went into the uh, PPI numbers at 8.30. Uh, and they fell uh, very hard, very quickly. Uh, and uh, we've kind of gone back to just flat on the day. My theory, uh, at least the one I'm going to stick to uh, for the rest of the day, is that we are in distribution. I think that they, at least uh, many on Wall Street, why privately preaching uh, the end of uh, all inflation uh, are going to have to admit probably right after the Fed does something next Wednesday that uh, it's not the end of inflation and we're going to have to continue moving. I think the idea that you get a four and a half or five percent interest rate, uh, especially in the long 30 year housing market, and that's it. It's probably more like six. So the question, a few questions. Uh, when is everybody going to wake up to the fact that it's we're not there yet? Uh, and the second one is, uh, are they going to really wake up to uh, the news about uh, earnings, which is going to be really impacted the first quarter of next year? It would probably be easy to see if the Fed had stopped uh, cutting or, or adding to rates totally. But it's not. They're going to be adding to rates, just not 75, but maybe 50. But that's kind of like saying you've been losing a ton of blood. Now you're going to only lose about three-fourths of that blood. But uh, you know what? You've been losing blood for a while. Things not going to probably get any better. So, uh, well, we've got the economy out there on the, on the gurney under surgery. I think a lot of people are saying it's over when it's not quite over yet. We'll be back in a minute with the show. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having 